Lord have mercy. Oh, I have been busy. I've been busy. Lord, I've been busy. I've been busier than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. Busier than a wallpaper hanger in a windstorm. Busier than a two-dollar whore on payday Friday. Lord, I've been busy. Anyway, trying to work on this damn blame truck. My left turn signal ain't, ain't working and I gotta trace it down, figure out why. The wiring underneath it's a damn cluster fuck. Speaking of cluster fucks, the LGBT. Let's see, it's lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transsexual. LGBT. Lord have mercy, what are they all riled up about now? Well, it seems that there's this bill going around in some of these states about which bathroom he's supposed to use. Well, I look at it this way. If you're born with a pecker, you know, a penis, you go to the men's room. Right? I would think so. I saw just a blip on TV some some transsexuals all dressed up. Look pretty too. Look kind of cute. I said, would you want me going in the men's room? <laughs> Wouldn't bother me. <laughs> but uh, I look at it this way. If you're born with a pecker, that makes you a man. Now, you may feel like you're a woman, I reckon. I don't know. Well, come think of it. I'm a lesbian. I like women. I guess it's just a state of mind. Anyhow, all these people getting all upset about it, you know. You, know, you got old Bruce Jenner. Call me Caitlin. Well, you know, it's my understanding he had his pecker cut off. Well, I got news for you, Bruce Jenner. A man getting his pecker cut off don't make him a woman. It makes him a man that's had his pecker cut off. You dumbass. God. But, you know, these, uh, I reckon the way I feel about it now, well, I'm not going to get over the damn religious talk. I'm just going to just talk normal like I usually do. Oh, boy, I ain't not politically correct. But, uh, I can understand people being upset about the idea that you know, they're opposed to the bill because if you identify yourself as a female, then that's the restroom you should use. Well, what I don't like about it is some pervert, a man, could dress up like a woman and go in the bathroom where my granddaughter is. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like the idea of that. So, I don't have a problem with a, pardon me, but just a way of saying it, a bull dyke lesbian, you know, the, the lesbian that is the manly of the couple. Don't bother me for her to go in the ladies' room. That's the kind of plumbing she's got, okay? And uh, it don't bother me for one of them trannies that's, that's you know, some man that's gotten uh, surgeries and implants and all that. Don't bother me for him going to men's room to use the toilet. You know, this has been going on for decades and you've probably shared the bathroom with a transsexual or a person that wasn't exactly what they said they was. But you, you never knew it. I mean, let's face it. What can you see in the bathroom? You know, they've got stalls and stall doors, even the urinals. I mean, you want to look, see what the guy next to you's got, you got to go over and try to look. I mean, it's obvious. you really got to make an effort to see. So I think it's just a bunch of damn people getting all upset over nothing. So I look at it this way. You got a pecker, you go in the boys' room. 
you ain't got a pecker, you go in the girls' room. And Caitlyn Jenner, since you had your pecker cut off, I don't reckon you're a threat to nobody. See, so you go in, go in the girls' room. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, that's my little rant today on the LGBT. Oh, what a crock of shit. And the thing of it is, I have some, I have some wonderful friends that are lesbians and some wonderful friends that are gay males. Uh, very nice folk. Uh, and having been through some serious mental issues myself in Iraq, I can understand how the mind can, can uh, work or not work right or whatever. Uh, but, you know, I have nothing against someone who wants to lean one way or the other. It's just that's the way they are. And, uh, you know, we're all people. So anyway, I'll get off that soapbox. I've got some more coming here later. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I, I, I know that, that the way to set the Internet on fire is just express your opinion and wait. Well, I have expressed my opinion. Oh, my God, the comments are going to fly, ain't they? I'll get a bunch of haters off of this one. Ah, well, fuck y'all. You haters can kiss my ass. <laughs> It's my channel. My subscribers follow my channel to watch me and hear and, and see what I can teach them and, and what we can share and learn together. And you haters and trolls out there can kiss my ass. You want me to shut you want me to show it? To oh no. I might get somebody attracted to me that way. Anyway. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.